Yeah, man. For the people who don't know y'all already, man, let them know who he is. Um, name Amber Jules, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, you know what I'm saying? Born and raised. Uh, specifically, I'm from Sherwood. You know what I mean? Like all, you know, it's it's a long list of things, but you know, I guess you know. Right, right. So, what's the meaning behind your name, Amber Jules? Um, uh, Amber is my real name. <laughs> so that's one and two. The jewels part is like you know how jewel is like something special, is uh it's priceless, you know what I'm saying, and it's unique. So that that kind of compliments. I ain't trying to sound cocky, but like kind of who I am and what kind of person I am. So that's really the meaning of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of childhood did you have growing up? It was a good one, you know what I'm saying. I come from a good home. Uh, I got, you know, still do have a loving, hardworking parents, you know what I'm saying? They sacrifice a lot so I can do my thing as far as, you know, chasing a dream and having a good education, you know what I'm saying? Like, wasn't super rich, but at the same time, like, wasn't super poor, like, you know, just hardworking middle class, you know. But it was, a, you know, it was a good childhood. I ain't, you know, ups and downs like any other kid, but yeah. Right, right. With people that's rapping nowadays and things like that, why do you think with certain rappers go go to jail, it gives them a higher status, in your opinion? Uh, I guess it's, I guess it looks cool, even though it's not cool to go to jail, but it's like, it, in a weird way, it's just bragging rights. I guess it make it, it may make you seem like you can handle your own, like you may be hard, and it. it in an ironic way, it comes with a good reputation, and it, and I, it, it's weird. Like, I'm not condoning going to jail, stay out of trouble if you can, you know what I'm saying? And I understand life ain't easy, too, so sometimes, basically, shit happens, but at the same time, like, I don't know. It's it's, it's weird. It, it sounds cool, but it ain't cool. Facts, facts. Who are some of the people that kept in touch with you since you decided to do music? Um, everybody. I don't really, like, first of all, I don't really, like associate with a whole lot of people closely. I, I may know a lot of people, but as far as like my inner circle, that's pretty much tight, you know what I'm saying? I would say like the people that I went to school with, they know who they are and uh, of course family, but you know, like I said, my circle is tight, but everybody pretty much keep in touch. It may not be on a everyday type of deal, but every time we talk or keep up, it's always good conversations and, and you know, just, you know, it's love. So they know who they are. Okay. What are some of your influences? In, in rap. In rap, in growing music. up. Uh, that make you want to do music. Well, for one, I just like, I like music. I love music. And and two, in order to rap, you got to be good with words. So, but as far as like influences, like I guess it's me as a person. Of course, I would say like my parents, of course. And um, just people that I grew up with. And um, maybe people that I never even met before, like athletes or, or or coaches or something like that you know just just things like that and as far as rapping it's so many people it's it's, it's really like from throwback to present day it's so many i can name but yeah so okay what kind of music did you listen to growing up of course hip-hop and rap a lot of r&b gospel was in the picture um I, I guess like a, a little bit of rock and roll, just just a little bit, but you know, it's just, it, it you know, it's just kind of all kinds of music, basically. If it sounds good to my ears, I'll listen to it, no matter what genre, what ethnicity, what race, whatever, if it sounds good, it's, you know, I'm going to listen to it, I'm going to bop to it, so. Okay, okay. Do you have a song slash mixtape that everybody fuck with? Well, I don't really have like a lot of projects out. I mean, in, in 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 my to my knowledge, you know, to my standard. But I only have three out. Transition, working on the pressure one and working on the pressure two. I got the um, which the pre order is available now. But uh, everybody really took to the um, the working on the pressure. Basically, like anything that I put out, people just kind of take to, especially if I put visuals to it. So it's just growing little by little. I think people are. Kind of starting to see that I'm really taking this thing seriously, and then at the same time I'm getting better every day. So it's just, you know, just it's growing. I wouldn't say just a specific project. It's just like whatever content I put out, whether it's just a single or on a project, you know, people just take to it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 
Why do you think rappers talk about what they're going through? It's therapeutic. <laughs> I know if, um, you know, it's just people, people have a lot going on, man. It's just, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a great way to get it out, get it all out. Um, at least that's, that's how I look at it. That's my reason. But um, I would hope people rap about what they're talking about, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, it's just, that's, that's really all, you know, that's really the bottom line of that. It's, it's therapeutic. It's nice. It sounds good, depending on the production behind it, you know, and it just, it kind of helps you give a, a good peace of mind. You just get it out, you know what I'm saying? That's that's really how I look at it, so. Facts, facts. What makes you different? I'm me, <laughs> pretty much, you know, it's just, everybody's different. I'm different because it's just, I'm just, I'm just me, it's just. Effortlessly and 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 just unapologetically, I'm I'm just me every day of the week. The only thing I, I probably change is like the mindset, the maturity, the evolution. You know, as you get older, but that's that's understandable. I feel like that's what you're supposed to do. But as far as just what makes me different is just you know, you're not gonna meet another Amber Jules. You might meet somebody similar or vice versa, but it's just like, as far as like originality, some things you just, you can't remix, so. Okay, okay. Well, talk to the streets for a second, man. What been on your mind? Just, hell, you know, a lot and, and nothing at the same time, you know, just working in music, working out, working in music, working out. Um, it's a lot going on outside, 2020, just been a hell of a ride, man, like. Mm -hmm. on some shit. I have quarantine kind of shaped your life. It, um, you just, mm. Your vibe and having to kind of readjust the things and stuff? Well, not really as far as my household because okay. we, I mean, we, we pretty much got jobs where it's like, it's essential. So it, it ain't really affect us like in that sense, but it's like, you see what's happening around you and, and just what's going on in society. It's like, Man, I feel like the whole world is on flames right now, you feel me? Like, you got people passing away. Shout out to Nip, Kobe, you feel what I'm saying? What's dude named Chadwick, um, you know, the Wakanda dude. Not, you know, but, you know, dude that just passed, you know. Um, excuse the ignorance if I, you know, mis mispronounce his name, but Chadwick. Um, you know, you just got the environment just kind of doing whatever you got fires and storms getting out just outrageous and yeah. you got politics the elections and and how society's going um i feel like it's it's just a lot going on it's just you know it's it's, it's kind of like the wild wild west out here just on camera all right, all right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So you just got to, shit, I'm just trying to maneuver and just kind of just staying out, just doing my thing and staying out the way as much as I can. Being on the scene, but not on the scene. Like being on the scenes at the right time, but when it's time to go, it's time to go. Like, it's like, you know, and then you got this corona shit going on, this COVID-19. Do you think it's real? <sighs> yes and no. Like, I, I feel like it's it's something out there, but the severity of it because at the same time I'm just the type of person I don't believe like 100% of what the media tells us but man the amount of people that's losing their lives that's not okay I don't care what angle you look at you know what I'm saying that's that's but yeah I think it's real but to a certain standard but something's definitely going on and right, it's not right. you know it's not what's up so do you know anybody that's caught it any family members I ain't gonna front my father caught it my dad okay. caught it Okay. But he should back. Shout out to my Superman. But you know what I'm saying? He was he he kinda like took sick. He kinda went down for a little second. But you know, just you know what I'm saying, just him shaking back, getting some rest, drinking some fluids, you know what I'm saying? But just over time. Cause he got he got tested and he he had got positive, then just took off work, shook back, and then he got better, went back and then tested negative. But you know, it's people real there losing their lives and stuff. It's 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 crazy, but as far as like who I know who caught it, nah, that's just my dad, but you know. How did that make you feel when you heard that he had it? I was just like, oh shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, I kind of seen him kind of like going down a little bit. Not like dying, but like, like, oh shit, like he really sick. Because you know, some people just don't really get sick. They just not ill because it's not like he in bad shape. But um, 
You know what I'm saying? I was just like, oh, like, so, you know, just, you know, doing what I can when I can. So um, just to help him, but that's trying to be safe as well myself. So, you know, it was, you know, for a good couple weeks, maybe to a month, it was a, um, just was like, just everybody was just on alert. But, um, yeah, he shook back. Okay. You know, shook back. Everything okay. good. But other than that, everything good. Everything good. Okay. So what made you want to get into the music game? Because everybody raps, you know, but what made yeah. you want to take it seriously and get into the game? I just, psh, man, that's a loaded question. I ain't gonna lie. Like, <clears throat> it's, um, for one, for me, it's therapeutic. Uh, two, is like, I just feel like it's a way to get back out there. You know what I'm saying? I don't look at the game like as a, in a superficial way because I real deal respect the culture of rap, hip hop, like where it came from. Like I respect the ghosts, the OGs. Like I really respect the culture. You know what I'm saying? But um, you know, I understand words is powerful. Um, I just, I just want to like basically, I just want to use music and rap and my talents basically to just build up a good a, a significant platform to have a positive effect on society and make a lot of money doing it <laughs> you know what i'm saying so okay. that's really you know what i'm saying and it's just like ever since i hung up my jersey it's just like i right, i gotta find another way to do that and i don't think that a regular nine to five or even a decent paying job would do that it's just like oh nah i gotta get back i gotta get back out there so it was just like hip-hop will rap and you know that kind of just fell next in line but you know i got other shit up my sleeve too but as far as that yeah and then okay. it's like it sound good too it's dope so okay well if you so far you got three projects out to me mm -hmm. and um since being in the music game is it everything that you thought it would be yeah, and I'm st I'm still learning too. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just look at the I just go into the music game, like understanding it's grimy before it gets pretty. Like it look glamorous, but at the same time, when it comes to like what really matters, that's when the snaky and grimy shit happen. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't necessarily get messed over. Like I get you know you had your little lessons here here and there but it's just like i you know i ain't really hit that wave yet where it's just like you really feel it but i understand it's is you know it's pretty much yeah everything i expected you have the good you got the bad and it's just like you don't i don't really get too excited for the pros and the cons it's just like level-headed but yeah so far i would say so okay when uh we hear about an amber jewels project what kind of production that we can expect to hear on it um <clears throat> I would say that my main answer to that is diversity. Okay. Straight up diversity, cause um the the, the production on it is just like you got, cause I'm a person where it's just like I'm such a big fan of different regions, man. Like you got the South, you got the West, you got the East, you got the Midwest, and hell, you even got some international music that bump. You feel me? So it's just like like I said, if it sound good, it sound good. So it's just like. I feel like I'm a type of rapper where I can rap on pretty much anything, honestly. So right. it's just like, and you know, hey, that's what I'm saying. Working on the pressure too. Like, man, check out my catalog. But it's just like, you feel me? So the, shit, I, I low key lost track of the question. I ain't gonna front. What was it? That's nah, all good. Uh, no, we're talking just, about production on your project. Oh yeah, the production, the production. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's diverse. It's diverse. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's some songs where you can you can hear in the club. You know what I'm saying? And you can turn up to it. Um, and then there's some, majority of it, it sounds better in the car. You riding around in the city or going for a trip. You know what I'm saying? But it's definitely a head nodder. <clears throat> I'm saying like shit that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like you're going to be like, hmm, like, oh, all right. Like for sure, like facts. And then it's, it's some shit that is just like, it's metaphors that I'm using where you're going to be like, yo, run that back. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's. Hey man, it's up. I ain't gonna lie, poverty. It's 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 up, man. So the production on it is just hella diverse. It's not one dimensional. It's just like you think I'm going left, but you know I might go right. Then I might hit you with a, a crossover. Then I might hit you with a spin. Then it's like I might you know for sports. My sports fans know what I'm talking about. But it's just like you don't know what the fuck I'm finna do, basically. So it's just like, but it's dope either way. So it can't be stopped, man. Facts, facts. Shout out to the producers. Shout out to the producers, by the way. You know what I'm saying. When it comes to features, mm -hmm. um, not uh, naming no name specifically, mm -hmm. 
what artists or what type of people that you like to work with and what type of people that you don't like to work with when it comes to features? Well, I like to work with features with. Uh, I every was, song is not for everybody. You're right. And that's what I was going to say. Like, I feel like the song got to make sense. You know, one person can't be talking about one thing and then the other person be talking about a completely different other. Like, it got to make sense. Uh, it, it has. It can't sound like uh, the artist is is reaching. You know what I'm saying? Like nah. Like you know how you'll hear you might hear a song where you like nah. They was they was probably reaching, trying to you know doing too much, trying to put that artist with that song. Like that's not they lane. So it's just like, but who's to say? Because it's like it's music. But um, you know it has to make sense with features. And and then of course with features, I want somebody that that can spit or sing or can really like whatever they do, they can do it like. They nice with it. So, um, of course, the business side, you know, pros and cons. If you ain't basically on, ain't on your shit or you procrastinating, um, I can't work with you. But if you if you own your shit and you nice, you know, and then, you know, just just whatever. You know what I'm saying? I could work with you. So that's okay. that's um, to you. Um, what is the biggest song that you think that you have out right now? I have out. Mm. All you of think them. that you probably got the most <laughs> All of you know, them. songs that give you the most recognition Ooh. that people gravitate towards to the most. Mm. Probably off of working under pressure. Let them know. Probably know. that one. Yeah, probably that one. Because I know a lot of DJs spin spin my um uh, when they spin my stuff. That's what they play. You know what I'm saying? So um, I would say that. But you know I'm. I, I just came out with a song, Good Time, and, and when I performed it, people were just like, yo, that was nice. So it's just like, that's why I say all of them. But, you know, as far as what's out and what's really like, I guess, getting the most recognition, probably let them know off working under pressure. Okay. All One more right. question. Um, you dropped Make Em Mad, is that right? Mm-hmm. Five months ago uh, with BBD <clears throat> Studios. Mm -hmm. Very good song, by the way. Appreciate it. Uh, shout out a, to BBD. Shout out to BBD Studio. Do you have an upcoming music video that you're working on or plan on working on? Yeah, well, I just dropped Blackout with um. Uh, shout out to KXL. I just dropped Blackout. It's on YouTube. Like it's like it's been out for like several weeks now. But that's on SoundCloud. Okay. That's a SoundCloud joint. So follow me on SoundCloud. Amber Jules, by the way. But um. Cause the free bangers are dope too. I had to put that in. But um, as far as future ones. Mm. Damn, cause I don't want to talk too much. I know you and Wade gonna uh, work together again soon. Huh? Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Shout yeah, out to Wade, legit yeah. man. Yeah, Wade is legit. You know, shout out to him. But which song? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know just yet, cause like I said, I don't want to talk too much. But it's like I got like four songs where I know people gonna be like, oh yeah. Just that, just that shit. So, <clears throat> all I can say is, I'll just say this: Beast Attitude is a banger. So I can't wait to. Mm, I love that title. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's, it's 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 a it's a banger. It's it's. What's the story behind that, real quick. <clears throat> the story behind that is, I'm coming in. I'm coming in, like you know what I'm saying. I'm taking no prisoners. I ain't, I'm not, it's, it's up, you know, coming in the game with a beast attitude, real rude, clean sweep, you would think I can't lose me, you know, meaning like I'm coming in rude, clean sweep, like you know how it is in the playoffs, sweeping, ain't no wins, you know what I'm saying, it's just make weight on some shit, that's what the song is about, and I'm, from start to finish, I'm talking my shit, so it's just like, and by the way, it's one of them club bangers too, I, I ain't gonna front, because I, I performed it a couple times at some shows. But it's like, if you weren't there to see it, you weren't there to see it. So some of y'all should pull up to my shows too, by the way, because it'd be up. Um, shout out to organization, uh, organization Must Grind for, you know, the platform to perform. But, you know what I'm saying? Pull up when I promote uh, promote the uh, the clubs, the venues. But Beast Attitude, that's that's definitely one. 24-7 <clears throat> is one. Um, the homie Westside Chopper and LaCarleon on that one. I'll just say the feature. Shout out to them. That's that's gonna be a banger. That is a banger. All of them bangers, but twenty four seven is one. Um, what else? Putting on the show is one. What else? Super Saiyan is one. <laughs> what else? 
You can stop me when you're ready. Yeah, so so for people who want to get the album working on the pressure too, how can they pre-order it? Just holler at me, <laughs> basically. Okay. Uh, just holler at me on um, Instagram, amber.jewels, A-M-B-E-R dot J-E-W-E-L-Z. Because a lot of people want, like to put S on my name. It's not with an S, people. It's with a Z. I'm just okay. saying. <clears throat> so amber.jewels on Instagram. Um, that's the main platform that I really be checking. Just slide in the DMs or comment under my under my pictures, whatever you want to do. Um for my for my homies, homies, just if you got the number, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? And basically that's that's what it is. So that's how you get it. Mm -hmm. So um So why did you go um compact C D instead of iTunes? I am. I'm going that's just later. It's just um I ain't gonna front, I just wanna see who really basically fuck with me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And and I like um tangible things, if that's the word for it. I like giving things to people. You know, some some things is like a little bit more sentimental versus you just clicking on a button versus I'm giving you something like that you can wear or you can like really see and listen to or wear again. Like, you know, it's just people appreciate that. At least I would. Okay. So that's why, you know, I do it. That that really be out the kindness of my heart. You know what I'm saying? It really ain't all about all about the bag. Like I really do it for good intentions. But I would say that. Um, that's really the the, the, the bottom line with, with that one. But um as far as streaming platforms, oh that's coming too. All streaming platforms, but that just later on down the line. I give it to about maybe October, definitely. Okay. Definitely my birthday month. Shout out to the Libra gang out there. You know what I'm saying? But Libra. Mm -hmm. stop playing with us. We the scale. Don't tip us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tip us. You know what I'm saying? We we good people, but we up too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But how you feel about um, starring in movies? Can we see starring movie? in movies? Mm -hmm. Can we see in a movie or hell yeah? Anything that's like outside the studio. Hell yeah. I mean, I ain't, ain't like I got no gigs now, but I could see that in the future. Like if somebody were to really say like, hey, yo, Amber Jewels, like come, come, come check this script out <clears throat> and how I let this roll and see how you like it. Hell yeah. Cause be, I ain't gonna front. I feel like I probably could at, cause I'm, I'm hella goofy, but it's just like, I can, I don't know, man. Like when you have a personality, you can do a lot of shit just by being you. So. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, hell yeah. yeah. So. All the whoever the directors or whatever, when you see this, yeah, like whatever, I can act. I probably can act. I know I can act. I know that's right. <laughs> Holla at me, act, model, whatever you want to do. Right, right, right. So just like you know, when you go in the studio, man, like what type of attitude you be having on your mind? Like you be, you know, you go in the studio you already know what you're gonna do, or you go in the studio as far as you create on the spot, or uh, like what's your process? Oh yeah, I already go in there well rehearsed. I ain't gonna okay. front because just the way I do it, I can like, I, I be in there maybe like once a week, once every other week. So when I'm in there, I'm focused. I ain't playing around. But at the same time, I'm easy going. I'm having fun. You know what I'm saying? It's you know it is you know it's not all uptight with me, but you know what I'm saying I'm definitely handling handling my business. Okay. Uh, I'm not wasting no time, but I'm getting to it. And and every time, if not nine times out of ten. It always comes out the way I wanted it, but you know what I'm saying? Fun, but I'm handling the business at the same time. Is it a difference between like recording at like a um an actual studio compared to being at the house? I don't know. I ain't never really been at the studio. Like what you mean a real studio? Like a real, no, real studio? No, like a, you know, like you be in a studio, you know, like even though it's like not a, a, a major studio, but what I'm saying now, some people just be like locally recording at the house, like just like like with some, like with barely anything. Just okay. Yeah, like have you you know have you ever been in that situation? Do you do things like that, or are you just mainly you like? I you do know? that with maybe like not to cut you off, my bad. Nah, you um, good. Um, maybe if I want to just give away like a freestyle or something like that mm -hmm. that I want to drop on like a Instagram or social media, I'll maybe do it like homemade. But if it's something like where well, I really got a beat and I want to, no, I need like a little bit more professional engineering behind that because I like it for it to sound right. But um, that's kind of how I balance it, you know what I'm saying? So, they, you know, you know, I'm, I'm grateful that I have the resources that I have to even go to a studio to do that, you know what I'm saying? Because cause if it was up to me, I would be in there every day, but I can't do that, you know what I'm saying? Some people can, so it's just like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get to that, but as far as like homemade stuff, that's how I do it. But, you know, it's a, of course, it's a difference. More, one is more professionally done and one is like a little bit more homemade. But content is content and it all counts, but, you know.
Yeah. How you feel about the female rap scene right now? Um, we talking about the Megan and Stags and all that. We talking yeah. about the local female rappers. They like who some people know about, some people don't know about because. They have a lot of females that rap in Louisiana for sure. Mm -hmm. but you don't really hear about them, like talking about it, you know. Um, you about to hear about them, uh, <laughs> right? So, like, how how do you feel about the female underground rap scene right now? Let us know, cause we don't know. Inform us. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I say this: everybody got their own lane, mm -hmm. and everybody doing their thing. Like, man, I, I I salute all kinds of progression. Um, shit. Um. Are you talking about locally underground scene? Yeah. Um, it's it's a whole plethora of artists you got. I like Day Lovely. She's nice. Um, hopefully I'm saying her name right. Mm -hmm. Um, I know what's what shorty name? Lakia. She doing her thing. Female rapper. She doing her thing. Like everybody, look, everybody cutting up. You know what I'm saying? And 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 hopefully, oh, team tune. Uh. It's, you know, I, I be seeing a lot of people doing their thing and I salute everything and I hopefully everybody has their own lane where they have their own opportunity to go and just just bang. I don't really care where everybody go. It's just as long as you represent, you know what I'm saying, the, the flag, like where you from and, you know, you know, I just I, I support the community. You know what I'm saying? We, ain't, we, we don't all have to be talking the same type of talk, the same type of shit, but as long as, you know, it hit, hey. I, I congratulate it. That's how I feel about that. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, um, I would really love to see the kind of how y'all did that new two, two, uh five album. I would love to see that just with females. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? From Louisiana and different areas and stuff like that come together, one compilation, do some And I videos. know it's plenty more than I just and, name. It's just that's just, you know, know, to my knowledge, you know. But like hey, so I would love to see that. But shit, um yeah. anything that you want to know. Let us know. We want to talk to the fans about anything you got coming out. And you know, you got the shirts, you got the CD pre order you got the hats. Yeah, I got uh, uh well I ain't gonna find the hat is for me. But I'm I'm gonna work on that too. But um yeah, I got the I got the shirts, I got the Olympia Records T shirt, I got it in black, white, and gray. Um I got it in various sizes. I have working on the pressure one and working on the pressure two is CDs, is autograph. So, you know, cop up, pre order, you know what I'm saying? If you don't wanna wait. To hear it, you know, to streaming platforms, and you want to hear it now, holler at me. I got you. It's gonna, it's, it's, it's twenty dollars, um, and and that's that's what it is, man. Guaranteed bangers. You know what I'm saying? It, it's quality music, and and you get the, you get the drip too. You know what I'm saying? So and it's more drip coming. Out. It's she more drip coming. Like I be telling people, less is more. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't really be wearing the, you know. I ain't got a problem with designers, but you know you don't have to wear designer to be. You know, highly fashionable. Right. Less is more. You just gotta know how to accessorize. <laughs> <laughs> so, what else kind of talent do you have? I know you rap. You know, do you sing? No, you don't sing. Huh? No, nah, I don't sing, man. Okay, don't do um, me that. <laughs> what kind of avenues that you might want to go down that we might not know of? Uh, you know, other than rapping, um, I can see myself modeling. modeling. I can see myself having a, having a clothing line. Okay. Oh, uh, and modeling like various clothes too, from tomboys to sports to to um, you know, like I ain't gonna front like dresses and shit, heels. Like y'all better stop playing with me. I can do all that. <laughs> Don't let this shit fool you. Like <laughs> he laughing at me, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But I could do that, like you suggested uh, earlier. I can, if I had the opportunity, I'll give acting a chance. Mm. Um. Right, I can see you on the big screen. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate man. Like it. I say, man, I support a lot of artists mm -hmm. who do a lot of things down here, man. People don't understand <clears throat> mm -hmm. how much I promote y'all when I be out of town and going places, and I just might say, "Hey, check this artist out," yeah. and stuff like that, you know. So uh, I appreciate that. I, it's all good because there's things that that I didn't have when I wanted to rap because right. I got buku songs stuff like that, but you know, it's not my time, you know, now. So I try to help other people. Yeah. It's all good. But, you know, we're not tripping. You yeah. know, um, so you got any shows coming up that, that, that you might want to know about? At the Hobby Lounge coming up? Shows? Oh, um, I know it's uh, an event coming up. What is it? Sunday? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow? I know it's a, um, a showcase um, at, at the, what is it? On the a Monday? Hub yeah, tomorrow. Um, Habibi Cafe Hookah Lounge just off Florida Avenue. Um, you can look it up on Instagram on Organization Must Grind or, you know what I'm saying, I think um, 
what's dude name? Uh, DJ Scrab, DJ Savage. You know, if, uh, the the information is on their page. But yeah, you got a show tomorrow. I think you have uh, the show on the 16th, whatever day that is. Um, if, if I'm not performing, I'm definitely pulling up at least to, you know, show support, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and while I'm at it, you know what I'm saying? That's a perfect time. If you want the pre-order, just pull up on me while I'm at the show and, and just mm -hmm. cop up, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy the good vibes, you know, it, it is up regardless, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I feel like that's, that's where I'm going to be at, you know what I'm saying? Supporting the homies, if not being in the mix, you know what I'm saying? So, yep. Word, yep. word, word. No doubt, man. There you have it, y'all, man. Amber Jewels, man. Full interview. Private to tell TV. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to get on Instagram? Mm -hmm. Boom, Instagram right on side of her head. Boom, go go click on it. Go highlight her. You want to go get at her on YouTube? Just type a name in on YouTube. Not typed it in earlier, it just automatically popped up. So And remember with a Z at the end, a not a the S, because a lot of people type in S and be like, I don't see you. No. Cause you're not putting the Z. One letter makes a lot of difference, okay? J E W E L Z. All right, so that's where you find me. Facts, facts, man. It's like ah, uh, man. Like we've been working together for a while, man. Mm -hmm. I've been seeing a progression, man. And uh, yeah, man. Power to Tell TV, man. We out this thing.